Greetings and salutations, everybody. I wanted to kind of clarify the FRP lock video that I posted up on the channel. Um, this is just because that some people that are coming out of Android 14 back to stable Android 13 have uh, ended up with an FRP lock on their device, which renders the device pretty much useless. Um, you break, I fix. Now known as a Shurion can't fix it. Google support can't help you. It's because it's um, factory reset protected lock. Uh, this is a security measure put in place to make sure that someone doesn't reset your phone and then try to, to use it. It stops it from ever going beyond uh, copying device data over from another device or restoring backup. So I found a tutorial. I linked that in the, the live stream where I went over the steps and uh, it worked. There's just one part to that that is nerve wracking for a lot of people and I understand why. And that's because step one has you basically engage emergency call mode. And it wants you to do that to basically call emergency because when you call emergency from your Google Pixel phone on the dialer, the dialer face, when you hit, you know, you slide the emergency bar over to begin the emergency call. While the call is engaged on the top above the call timer, it has Google Maps showing your location. When you tap on that, it opens Google Maps to completely be in Google Maps but you have to wait for the call to end and you don't want to just quiet quiet like stay quiet on the call you, you know just in case you don't want them to send emergency services your to your way you don't want to get swatted or anything like that so safe advice i can give people that's going to do it is once you engage the emergency call and you and you hear it's an automated 911 um recording that talks as soon as that recording is over, just simply say it out loud for the phone to hear that your phone is acting weird. You don't know why it's engaged emergency call mode. You have no real emergency. You are totally safe. You are fine. Um, you know, that's something I said out loud and I had to do it twice because the first time I tried to do the steps and it failed. Second time I was able to get through. And that's because I made a mistake on, I think it was like the fifth step. I made a mistake on my end on that part. Well, basically the part where you have to like input a new pin to set up, which will go across all your Android devices. So when you get to the Pixel 7, you'll be able to, you know, do that four digit pin to get in. But um, I messed up that part, so I had to restart all over again and I called emergency. So basically I called emergency that night when I got, when I recovered my Pixel 7, I called emergency twice in less than 15 minutes. And I said it twice and no cops, no SWAT team, no emergency vehicles showed up at my place. Um, like I said, you start the emergency call at step one once the recording from it is over, just say it out loud. Don't shout it. Don't try to sound like you're in distress. Just say it calmly like, hey, my phone is acting so weird. It's engaging emergency call and I don't need help. I am truly safe. I am fine. The call will end. Once the call ends, then you're able to tap the little map on the top of the screen to open Google Maps and proceed to the next steps. Just wanted to make this quick video outlining that. I know it gets people's nerves. Uh, no one wants to get in trouble. No one wants to be, you know, blamed for like, you know, prank calling or anything, anything like that. So just, um, yeah, you'll be okay. Just make sure you say that out loud and you'll be good. Um, that's it for right now. Thanks for checking out this video. Talk to you on the next one.